hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss about how to set and get value of a combo box in canvas apps a power apps right so here you can see in my screen this is a canvas app mobile uh, app i have created where i have a uh, drop down which is called as combo box control uh, which is part of a form this is a form and uh, this type combo box source uh, selection of one ho one type of loan and my requirement is whenever someone select a specific type of loan the rate of interest should be auto populated by default the rate of interest is not auto populated user has to select it right but my intention is the rate of interest should be auto populated as for the type selected and the rate of interest should not be auto, uh, should not be editable or user should not select this so it should be automatically operated so what i can do so to set the value and get the value of combo box because i want to get the value of the combo box of type and check the value selected and set the second combo box um, with a value right so is because I want to set the value of the rate of interest or the second combo box I have to go to second combo box and go to the property called as default selected items here you need to write the power fx first let us understand what is the first combo box uh, ID this is data card value 7 right so go to the second combo box and write down a power fx So this is the power fx you need so the formula is like if data card 7 dot selected dot value equal to home loan that means the loan type is a uh, choice field that's why you have to use the column name and dot so that it will get the items uh, from that choice field right if you click on dot you will get all the items so if it is home loan i want to display rate of interest is 11 right else you can supply more values right so if it is business loan you can supply if it is business loan then it should be rate of interest ROI is the uh, field name so ROI ROI dot 11 or 12 then one more value you want to put this is if else condition i am writing right so home loan done business loan done then i want to take uh, personal loan if it is personal loan i want to assign 9 or let me check 9.0 right so for other values the default value is 8.3 right so this is how you can check one combo box value which is pointing to a choice field and set the other some combo box using a table option right so let us test this i'll run this and let me blank it first I made blank let me choose home loan you see 11 let me choose vehicle loan 8.3 and personal loan 9.0 any other it will display accordingly right now I want to disable this so if you want to disable you can go here and disable the field by using the display mode in the display mode you have to write down disabled right now it is disabled let me check again i will choose home loan you see it is updated but it cannot be selected right so this is the requirement so you have to remember this power fx how to auto populate or how to get and set values using uh, combo box right so this is the power fx uh, 
uh, and also the combo box is pointing to a uh, choice data type right and if it is not pointing to a choice data type you want to match with uh, a, a combo box which is pointed to a lookup value then you have to uh, write down the column name instead of value right as here you can see this customer combo box is pointing to a uh, lookup or entity uh, it is a lookup uh, data type which is pointing to right so if you want to check this uh, value selection then you have to use uh, something like uh, the data card value dot selected dot full name or email or something not value as it is choiceful that's why we are using value right okay so thanks everyone watching this video uh, see you next time bye